a psalm of david bless the lord o my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord o my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgives all your iniquities who heals all your diseases who redeems your life from destruction who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like eagles psalm 103 verse 1 to 5 praise the lord greetings to all of you you have heard the words is being read in english so now we are going to see from psalm 103 verse 1 to 5 this is a psalm of david he is uh, praising and blessing the lord david is a character who fell into sin and then he repented and corrected and the bible calls him as a man after god's own heart more than that jesus christ is called the son of david it's a great blessing so god also likewise accept us as his children forgiving us we have seen recently what are we in adam we were helpless souls we were sinners and we were enemies of god in that state god has accepted us so david is a very clear testimony in this god will never reject when we repent and when we come with a penitent heart to god he accepts here david who was rejected by his father and his brothers but yet god's chosen vessel one of the three kings he ruled the nation israel for 40 years and he is writing this song bless the lord o my soul all that is within me bless his holy name i usually consider this all within me means not only the soul not only the personality the thought purpose and action or the mind will and emotion but my internal parts we have kidney and we have stomach and we have so many internal organs even our organs which are living within within us which has life in itself it can so that is how i am just trying to take it and use it on me so all that is within me bless his holy name I have to bless the lord who has saved us freely forgiving us all our trespasses and sin It's because of his son jesus christ you see in this we have five things we can bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits what are the benefits he has given us you see he god forgives all your iniquities iniquities means sin and sins the two classes god forgives you see it is given in present tense god is an ever present god and he is neither past and future but always god existed because he brought forth into existence out of nothing so that is the god so he is a ever present god who forgives even some he says uh, the lord is my shepherd it is also present tense that means all through his life at any circumstances he is the shepherd shepherd of the uh, sheep because he was uh, tending the flock so as a shepherd and he has committed his life to the uh, divine the shepherd who is jesus the christ you see what he say he forgives all your iniquities he is telling his testimony he has forgiven me so certainly he forgives your iniquities in plural who heals all your diseases in plurality in present tense and also in plurality of the diseases who redeems your life from destruction you see redeems means he has paid a price for you that means on a daily basis we should remember lord 
you died on the cross you paid the price that is your own blood and with that you redeemed us paying a price see he redeems your life from destruction who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies loving kindness which is otherwise called the grace unmerited favor god's riches at christ expense he has done it for you and me and also who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like eagles you see especially we like old ages so what we can do we can trust in the lord and our daily bread before eating we can see lord you uh, forgives our iniquities and you heal all of our diseases so far and you have redeemed our souls we should never forget it all these benefits god is doing to us on daily basis so let us not forget about his loving kindness the grace and the mercy mercy through which he accepts us loving kindness which is the grace god's riches at christ expenses he provides everything what we need on the face of the earth so also he satisfies our mouth daily food daily bread he gives us to satisfy us so that we grow even in old age we will keep our youth good and he will bless us abundantly so we can bless the lord he will bless us in turn we will bless the lord all through our life until we join him in heavenly choir so enjoy your benefits of forgiveness See, daily all through your life enjoy and forget not the benefits of forgiveness of iniquities and healing of your diseases if you are sick ask the lord he will heal you there's nothing impossible unto him he bare the healing stripes upon his body and he has redeemed your life and daily you can remember that and he redeems day after day so also he is crowning you see grace crown of grace and mercy is upon you and also see how in the isaiah chapter 40 end you can see even the youth will faint when they run but at the old age when people are waiting upon him they will renew their strength like the eagles you know the life of eagles you google it and see how the eagle is growing at the old the feathers are removed and again it is re-strengthened and it becomes uh, again the youth is renewed in eagle again and again eagle has a long life it needs strength even though it it needs a good eyesight to uh, catch its uh, food we know that you can just google it and see the life of uh, eagle you will know that so he makes us that is why the reference is an illustrative or we can say yeah it is an illustrative truth our strength and our health would be renewed as that of the eagles so with all this you just stay blessed and bless the lord forget not to bless the lord on your daily basis together with all that is within you all your organs and also the entire soul your thought purpose and actions let it bless the lord and you to stay blessed in the name of jesus christ who is our lord god amen and amen